a recent Suge Knight prison rant could spell major trouble for Snoop Dogg. Suge made some dangerous allegations against Snoop Dogg during his podcast collect call. Suge basically said that he was the one who made sure Snoop didn't go to jail for life by messing with some evidence. Suge Knight said Snoop Dogg was in tears over the fact that he may have lost his freedom. And that's when Suge came up with his master plan. A Suge Knight Snoop Dogg diss like this could potentially rewrite history and open up the Pandora's box of hip hop. Later on in this clip, Suge explains how he helped Dr. Dre and Tupac beat their cases as well. Here's what Suge Knight had to say. I'm disappointed in that motherfucker because if you want for me, you'll still be in prison doing life. You turn around and you said you partners up with this dude, neither one of y'all got death row or bought death row or purchased death row. Now it's it's fun. So what you mean when you say um what you mean when you say that you uh he'd still be in prison? Because when, when Snoop got convicted for the murder. Snoop Doggy Dog. A judge in Los Angeles refused today to drop murder charges against him. We, the jury in a bubble tile action, find a defendant, Calvin Brodus, not guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. We had one song on him. We did a video shoot in Long Beach. For whatever the reason was, when I pull up, they was in there um, beating up um, Snoop bodyguard. This guy named Lee was jumping on him, him and Snoop. I go in and get on the dude, choke him out and get him off from the whole of nine. Then another guy from his neighborhood. So when that took place, they said, you got to be standing up. You can't be no punk. They pull up at their apartment. There's four guys in the car. It's Snoop. It's Lil Style. It's Malik. I think it was uh, Sean Dog. Yeah, it was. Got through a gang sign to them. They start chasing them in, in the jeep. I got it. They shoot. And the guy got shot in his ass. He ricocheted up and killed. Right? So now they got a, you know, a war for the liquor for them. Naturally, who the per first person they call, who then say, oh, I don't want to get involved with that. But that's murder after fact. The motherfucker move in and to care of business. When he got David Kenner, John Ray, and Johnny Cochran to represent all these guys. I got in my hotel room and they was all in the room. When me and Bunchy walked into the room, they was all crying. And why everybody so sad with watery eyes? They said, if he going, he getting life, we can't beat this case. I said, why? The lawyer said, well, the bodyguard has a nine millimeter, so we can't say he protected Snoop and shot the guy. Snoop had a 380. I said, that's not a problem. I said, we'll be, if the bodyguard had a, a 380 and Snoop had a nine millimeter and he got shot with a 380, right? They, I mean, he got shot with a nine millimeter. I said, the bodyguard had a 380 and Snoop had a nine millimeter and the guy got shot with a nine millimeter but since Snoop had the 380 and the bodyguard had a nine and he got shot with the 380, uh, so all the bodyguard got to say is he was using 380 bullets in his nine millimeter. And they said, man, you're a genius. You should be a lawyer. So I got Johnny Cochran to represent somebody. I got David Kennedy to represent somebody. I got Don Ray to represent somebody. Now, and then, in between times of this going on, one of Snoop guys, I ain't gonna say no name, and Snoop know this, he wanted a few dollars. So since he says he didn't give the guy the money, he called the DA. The DA put him with the PI. The PI met with him and he told him the motherfucking truth and gave him some evidence. So what happened, Snoop manager at the time you know she dates the police the police knew the PI for the DA they was willing to talk to me because they say he this guy is going to testify that 
Snoop the one shot the dude and killed him. He recorded him. I heard it for myself. The guy wanted to play ball. He got some bread. He destroyed the tape. And that's one of the things. But the most important thing from Interscope, from everyone else that was in the business told me do not waste a dollar on that. I spent six million dollars on that case to make sure he didn't get life in prison. Every day Snoop went to trial and those guys had to come testify against him. It was a hundred po well, it was a hundred pyrus and bloods out there standing up on that court road. Those dudes had to walk past. So for me to make sure this guy to put my own freedom in state, to make sure this guy don't be in prison, to go back and partner up with Michael Harris who committed fraud against me and the lion said they're going to try to take death row and it's theirs, which is not true but even if it was you should both try to get it back to the rightful owner you didn't represent death row when you was on death row that's just some me personally that's how I feel that's, it is that's how I feel that's facts so when you look at that that would get the police hot on me for doing the things by making sure Snoop didn't get life in prison and none of those other dudes. And so when I got Pac out of prison, that made him even more angry at me. Not to mention when I stopped Dre from getting a lot of time for beating up a gang of all the shit he was doing, that made me, you know, one of my big case is behind Dre. Reason why my fake case is behind Dre, if I had to do it all over again, I still would do it again because that's the type of man I am. If the other person, I don't keep it, I don't keep it a thousand and keep it against because the next motherfucker I keep it because that's my DNA. Unfortunately, the Suge Knight versus Snoop Dogg beef may be lifelong, especially after Snoop acquired the rights to Death Row Records. Regardless of all that, though. I never thought Suge Knight would unveil this kind of secret. I mean, Snoop and Suge made history together. So it's sad to see them fall out like this. I mean, Suge low-key giving Keefy D more respect than Snoop right now. If y'all haven't heard already, Suge Knight went on record saying that he wouldn't testify on Keefy D for the alleged hit on Tupac. Click the video on the screen to find out why. Peace.